Good afternoon, guys. Saturday, the 24th of November. I thought we'd give you just a slight wee update. We have started to, uh, oh, what's the word? Winterize. If it's not a word, then it's a new word today. Winterize our chicken run. So our little chooks. I don't get an awful lot of light. I'm thinking about keeping that one there open slightly because hubby's used the rest of that uh, coralline corrugated stuff to let the rain water run off instead of inside so we might be able to keep that side open and we have had one really look it's been raining a couple of days but three days ago we had a really 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 bad frost that's the very first heavy frost that we've had and before that I shall explain why I've not been about. I decided to use last year's windows when we get the double glazing put in the house. Some cor coralline corrugated roofing that we had extra. Now Hobby was wondering if it was going to be solid enough, but it's absolutely solid. And I have called it, what have I called it? I have called it my little chicken conservatory if you will strawberry plants there it's just in case the chickens are out every day now so it's just in case it starts raining i don't know what's happened to that but hmm. maybe that was meant to be like that anyway guys so inside here if i can zoom in i'm going to put more straw in there but uh Possibly another wee bucket. I don't think that's big enough or wide enough in case they want to lay their eggs outside. They've got a plot of food, one of the wee rocks or the wee stumps that they can stand on and their fresh clean water. So they can be out here all day, every day. That's some hemp straw down there and I'm going to cover it with some more heavy duty straw. The glass is up there. There's wooden battens underneath that's tying both the large windows together. I'm pretty chuffed with it actually. I started just to do a little covering for them when they're in here. And I ended up being out here all day. So that is my little extra chicken house for when they're out and about. Right, moving swiftly on guys. Let's see, as you can imagine, it's coming to the end of autumn, beginning of winter. We've still to finish this wee corner off. I've lifted my climbing rose out of there and it's now down at the shed. I'm going to take you to the shed in a wee minute. But that should be the chickens nice and comfortable for the winter. I'm just going here for a minute, guys. As I said, that wasn't a bit of a tip because I've been in my bed. And if I've not been in my bed, I have been lying on the couch with hot water bottles because I was digging the garden, digging dahlias up and put my back out. So my debut is Nigel. I know exactly how you feel when you were in the exact same state a couple of weeks ago. The wee fish have survived in there with the frost. Now this is what I'm going to show you. Look at this mess, guys. I don't know if you've looked in a previous video. But we had three beautiful broccoli calories in there. And Hannibal has decided now that the tomatoes have gone. He's actually lifting the brassicas out by the roots. Bringing them into the house. Chomping away at them. And leaving the excess here for later on. Do I want to kill them? Yes, well, that's a bit of an understatement. So let's go, try not to move, that's my wee jars that I need to drain the water out and get them in the garage out of the way. So this one over here, we caught them this morning trying to bring out a spring cabbage by the roots. Last night I caught him, where is it, where is it, where is it? I've got nice wee broccoli heads there. I'm sure it was round the corner. Yep, as you can see down there, 
He has pulled a full Calabrese out of there yesterday evening and this morning we've caught him trying to rip out one of the cabbages so I'm afraid even though it's as, as tall as it is it's going to have to be covered up again right let's go what's next what's next we update we've got when I did discover what he was up to, it was because of this. This little area here, as you know, has been covered up for weeks and weeks and weeks. I came down the other day, I don't know if you can see one of the holes here. Now there's about three or four holes there. Hannibal decided just to run and scratch himself through in there and pull out a, br a Brussels sprout plant. So me and Hobby's fixed it and put an extra netting over the top and redone the bricks. So hopefully he won't go in that one again, but I am going to kill a Rottweiler. I'm so close to killing a Rottweiler. Let's see how our onions and garlic are doing in here. I don't know if you can see through the netting, guys. Try and zoom in a wee bit. But the snowball onions and our garlic are coming on fine. I'm hoping you can see that. Right, so where we're off to next is round here. The day I put my back out, I was doing this, lifting dahlias, etc., in here and tidying up and weeding. I also had this full area dug over. Decided to lift the calabrese out of there. I'm going to top that up with manure and compost. I don't know what's going on in this wee plot as yet. Managed to get my paths down. That's my strawberries covered up. But as you can see, in a couple of days the leaves are falling again. But that was absolutely spick and span a couple of days ago. Let's go and have a look at the shed. our little shed area. This little bit here I've yet to name. We now have our guttering up. That's Betsy Butt. And that'll be Rob Roy once that gets painted up. Hi Roy. Oh. So what we've done in here, or what Hobby has done in here, I've just to cover those two wee holes up at the top. I don't know how. But the whole place has been insulated, tongue and grooved. And today we are working on my bench, no, my canopy, seating area. And if I want a snooze, instead of putting it on the shorter walls, I've decided to put it on the long wall. And then we'll get a shelf in underneath it. So that's where we're up to today. Let me see, so I don't stand in anything, knock myself out. So the roof has been felted and now we have the coralline corrugated stuff on. Everything's to be done, apart from trying to find lids from the water butts. There's my climbing rose. Round about here is going to be a wee garden area, but that in time, in time, not at the moment. And then this will be a lovely wee garden. So it's all in the making, but as I said, hurt my back doing that bit over there. As you can see, my spade's still on the ground. So we're trying to do as much as we possibly can before hubby goes away. But I'm really looking forward to my wee shed. Let me see if I can get in here without annoying. Mr. Hunter. This wee area here is going to be where I'll have my kitchen, my kettle, my little cooker for making soup and things and doing some videos. Get some shelving up there. Get some shelving under all the beds. I don't know if I've got a wee cabinet or whatever on this side, or I'm not too sure. On that wall that you're at. 
can let me know in the comments below guys what you think of what I've already shown you this afternoon just a wee quick update I'm sure I've got a video I'm oh, sorry I'm sure I've got a video to put up ready for bucketing down um, but the last time I looked at the said video, I think, uh, guys, when I edit it, it's going to actually go, have to uh, go into um, two separate bits. I know I've been nominated to make a video of my favourite video, but I'll get round to that when I'm tickety-boo and 100%. Look, guys, this has been done three times now with the leaves. I don't know, a lot of people say... Um, to gather them up. We can gather some up for leaf mulch but not, not an awful lot because most of our trees are oak and the acorns that get mixed in with the leaves are an absolute nightmare once they take root in the ground so we do tend to burn them. I don't know if I've shown you that bit down there before. I think I have and Hobby's redug that. Gonna get some pumpkins and squashes in there. I do think I have said. Underneath all this, it looks like a big pile of dirt. We do have concrete steps, but that'll be for a later date as well. They'll all, this dirt will all get dug out again and we'll get our steps back and some sort of a rail. But there, I'll try and zoom in now. That was last year's leaf mulch, as you can see, guys. With an extra, an extra wee dropping of this year's leaves, but as you can see, let me see where my finger is. See every single strand of there that looks like straw. That's all acorns that's rooted. So there's absolutely no way at all that we can get round to storing any leaf mould, or if we do, it'll be very limited. That corner there has now been covered with leaves and fixed with extra sticks for the wildlife. Still haven't gone round to fixing the, fixing the hedgehog house, but I will do it. Um, and I think that's about this for the day. My French climbing rose hobby planted up yesterday and it's been cut back, mulched and uh, blood fishing bone has been put in there. That's my... Passion flower. But I think that's it. that's about it. I'm thinking that's about it. Let me have a wee look over at the pond. I've not been down. I need to feed the fish. I know I've shown you before that I did cover it up, managed to cover it up this year. It does look a bit tatty. But it has been fenced and it has been netted and it's been a goddamn lifesaver. We have two or three holes with sticks and boulders underneath the water for the little frogs etc to get in and out. There's Hubby there dangling from the tree, Mr Forker. Well that's the state we're at at the minute. Daniel and his boyfriend have done me a big favour and taken Hannibal to dog training today and it's given it's given uh, Pepsi a wee bit of peace and quiet and then Hey, you got a wee bit of peace today. Yes. Oh, look at my wee animal thing, me. What do you call it? My wee bug tail. Look. The birds have been in. Trying to peck out. All the wee solitary bee babies that are all hidden in here. Little buggers. Little buggers, buggers, buggers. There we go. I've said it twice now. I won't say it again. That's us for nice guys for the day. But just a wee update, okay? I'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy your weekend, whatever you are up to. And we'll carry on with this. Au revoir. To the pit. Bye.